Frank, how are you? Very good, Mr. Hart. How are you doing today? Thought I told you to call me Dolan, Frank. Did you see that story on the news last night? Yeah, I did see it. I'm going to send out an email to the whole company. If it weren't for you, this company might have gone under. If it weren't for you, Dolan, you know, I really wouldn't have this job. You know, if it weren't for you, Frank, I might not have mine either. Plainfield almost took over the whole damn industry with their production of OxyClean. I mean, who invents the fucking cure for cancer and makes it so expensive that only millionaires can afford it? That's where you came in. You created Carsican, the wonder drug for the wonder price. We're so grateful to have you on our team, Frank, not just for this company, but for the good of all humanity. Thanks for everything. It really means a lot. Well, that's enough of the sappy stuff, Frank. I'll leave you to do your mad scientist stuff here. I'll see you later, buddy. Mr. Byron, my name is Elise Williams. I wrote to you earlier today, but received no reply. My husband Mark died three days ago of lung cancer. He had been prescribed carcican. He was a janitor, and I am a short order cook, so as you can imagine, we could only afford it for so long. Immediately after getting off carcican, he died. I have made contact with others who have experienced similar situations. We are aware that carcican only creates an illusion of improvement while hiding something much worse. We were prepared to sue if Heart Industries does nothing about this. You and your company are supposed to be a champion of the people, Mr. Byron, so I do hope you will help us. Frank! How the hell are you? I'm doing all right, Mr. Hart. I'm, I'm just a little concerned about this email and voicemail that I received yesterday. I thought I told you to call me Dolan, Frank. What email? I just don't get it. All the symptoms she's talking about it never showed up in the testing period. If this is actually happening, we need to stop production of carsican. Whoa, 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 Frank. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I'm sure these symptoms are completely unrelated to carsican. She's just a concerned wife bitter over the loss of her husband. Don't worry about it, Frank. I'd love to sit here and chat, but I'm just out of time. I gotta make it to a meeting. Sure, yeah, I guess I got a little carried away. Thank you for your time, Mr. Hart. We'll talk soon, Frank. Why was my carcinogen formula changed, Dylan? There were just a few revisions done, Frank. Nothing too bad. My formula was the only one tested in trials. I gotta be honest with you, Frank. We made a few revisions to your drug to make it less expensive to produce. Okay, but at what cost? Well, you see, Frank, there really is no cost at all. You see, thousands of people have already benefited from your drug. Don't doubt yourself, Frank. Don't doubt this company. You know we'll never let you down, Frank. Okay. I'm just a little shaken up about the voicemail, that's all. Exactly. Well, I'll see you later, Mr. Hart. I'm gonna get back to work now. Hello and good evening. I'm here live with Mrs. Elise Williams, one of many unhappy customers who have been affected by the new miracle drug, Carsican. New studies find that the drug may be defective. Mrs. Williams, do you have anything important to say before your lawsuit? Are you afraid to take on a powerful company like Heart Industries? I am not afraid. As soon as I came out with my story, I was immediately met with support from hundreds of families who were affected by this drug. 
Heart Industries lied to the people, and they are going to get exactly what they deserve for it. Well, we'll hear about this important lawsuit and its findings in the coming weeks. Here at Heart Industries, we care about people. We do our best to create products that satisfy the everyday American. What happened with Karsikim was unfortunately not a mistake. However, I can assure you that no one, and I mean no one at heart, knew about this plan except for the man who created the drug itself, Dr. Frank Byron, our head scientist. Open up, please. His position has now been terminated, and his fate now lies with the decision of the courts. May his judgment be firm and swift. Thank you. Thank you.